Hello, my name is Corey Church, and I'm a technical consulting engineer for the ACI team here at Cisco. Today, we will be going through an overview of SPAN within ACI. So first off, what is SPAN? SPAN is an abbreviation for Switch Port Analyzer. This is a tool that copies packets going through ports on a switch and sends those packets to another location. We utilize SPAN sessions for monitoring and troubleshooting traffic flows within a network. In general, there are three types of SPAN, local, remote, and encapsulated remote. However, in ACI, we only utilize two of these, local and ER spans. In ACI, we do have three different configurations for SPAN though, and those are access, fabric, and tenant. We will talk about these more in detail later on. What are the differences between local span and ER span? With local span, we mirror traffic from one or more interfaces to another interface on that same switch. There are some caveats with using local span in ACI. The first one being that only access spans can be set up as local. And also, a local span cannot be used to capture traffic on a VPC. This is because local spans are scoped to a single switch. For ER spans, instead of traffic being mirrored out of an interface on the same switch, the mirrored traffic is forwarded to an IP destination in ACI. This is an endpoint that can be connected anywhere within your ACI fabric, but the destination must be IP learned. In ER span, the traffic gets encapsulated in a GRE header before it is sent towards your span destination, and all span types in ACI can be set up as ER span. As mentioned previously, there are three configurations for span within ACI, access, fabric, and tenant. Access span is used to capture packets that come in and go out of the interfaces between the leaf switch and your external devices. So you could use these span sessions to verify if traffic is ingressing and egressing the ACI fabric to and from your external device. Filter groups can be used with access spans. These are ACL-based filters that you use to specify what type of traffic you want the span to capture. The names for all three of the types of span correspond with where they're configured at in the ACI GUI. So for access span, we can figure that under fabric, access policies, policies, troubleshooting. Fabric span is used to capture traffic flowing between the leaf and spine switches within the fabric. So you use this to verify if the flow is working within ACI itself. Filter groups are not supported here and configuration is done under fabric, fabric policies, policies, troubleshooting. Lastly, tenant span is used to capture traffic that is ingressing and egressing a specific EPG within a tenant in ACI. So if you wanted to capture all the traffic on a specific EPG in your fabric, you could use a tenant span. Filter groups are also not supported here and configuration is done under tenant your user tenant name, policies, troubleshooting. Additional information about SPAN within ACI can be found at the link below.